The phonology of Portuguese can vary between dialects, in extreme cases leading to some difficulties in intelligibility. This article focuses on the pronunciations that are generally regarded as standard. Since Portuguese is a pluricentric language, and differences between European Portuguese and Brazilian Portuguese can be considerable, both varieties are distinguished whenever necessary. One of the most salient differences between European and Brazilian Portuguese is their prosody. European Portuguese is a stress-timed language, with reduction, devoicing or even deletion of unstressed vowels and a general tolerance of syllable final consonants. Brazilian Portuguese, on the other hand, is of mixed characteristics, and varies according to speech rate, sex and dialect. At fast speech rates, Brazilian Portuguese is more stress-timed, while in slow speech rates, it can be more syllable-timed. The accents of rural, southern Rio Grande do Sul and the northeast especially Bahia are considered to sound more syllable-timed than the others, while the southeastern dialects such as the Monero, in central Minas Gerais, the Palestano, of the northern coast and eastern regions of São Paulo, and the Fluminense, along Rio de Janeiro, Espírito Santo and eastern Minas Gerais as well the federal district, are most frequently essentially stress-timed. Also, male speakers of Brazilian Portuguese speak faster than female speakers and speak in a more stress-timed manner, and with a lighter reduction of unstressed vowels, less raising of pre-stress vowels, less devoicing and fewer deletions. Brazilian Portuguese disallows some closed syllables, coda nasals are deleted with concomitant nasalization of the preceding vowel, even in learned words, coda, L, becomes W, except for conservative velarization at the extreme south and roticism in remote rural areas in the center of the country, the coda rhotic is usually deleted entirely when word final, especially in verbs in the infinitive form, and, I, can be apenthesized after almost all other coda final consonants. This tends to produce words almost entirely composed of open syllables, e.g., magma mame". In European Portuguese, similarly, a penthesis may occur with as in magma mom and afta aft". For more detailed information on regional accents, see Portuguese dialects, and for historical sound changes see History of Portuguese section Historical sound changes. Consonants. <laughs> <laughs> The consonant inventory of Portuguese is fairly conservative. The medieval Galician Portuguese system of seven sibilants, s, z, t, and apicoalveolar, s, z, is still distinguished in spelling intervocalic c, c, z, x, g, j, c, h, s, s, s respectively, but is reduced to the four fricatives, s, z, by the merger of t, into an apicoalveolar, s, z, into either s, z, or depending on dialect and syllable position, except in parts of northern Portugal most notably in the Tras os Montes region. These changes are known as diafrication. Other than this, there have been no other significant changes to the consonant phonemes since Old Portuguese. However, several consonant phonemes have special allophones at syllable boundaries often varying quite significantly between European and Brazilian Portuguese, and a few also undergo allophonic changes at word boundaries. Henceforward, the phrase, at the end of a syllable, can be understood as referring to a position before a consonant or at the end of a word. Phonetic notes Semivowels contrast with unstressed high vowels in verbal conjugation, as in eu, rio, i, u, and ele, ri, u, u. Phonologists discuss whether their nature is vowel or consonant. In intervocalic position semivowels are amoebosyllabic, they are associated to both previous syllable and to the next syllable onset. In some of Brazil and Angola, the consonant hereafter denoted as is realized as a nasal palatal approximant j, which nasalizes the vowel that precedes it, ninho n j, u nest. Basal proposes that Portuguese possesses labia velar stops, k, and, as additional phonemes rather than sequences of a velar stop and, with. The consonant hereafter denoted as, has a variety of realizations depending on dialect. In Europe, it is typically a uvular trill, however, a pronunciation as a voiced uvular fricative, may be becoming dominant in urban areas. There is also a realization as a voiceless uvular fricative chi, and the original pronunciation as an alveolar trill r also remains very common in various dialects. A common realization of the word initial, r, in the Lisbon accent is a voiced uvular trill fricative. In Brazil, 
can be velar, uvular, or glottal and may be voiceless unless between voiced sounds. It is usually pronounced as a voiceless velar fricative x, a voiceless glottal fricative h, or voiceless uvular fricative chi. See also guttural r in Portuguese. S, and, Z, are normally lamino-alveolar, as in English. However, a number of dialects in northern Portugal pronounce, S, and, Z, as apico-alveolar sibilants sounding somewhat like a soft, or, as in the Romance languages of northern Iberia. A very few northeastern Portugal dialects still maintain the medieval distinction between apical and laminal sibilants written S, S, S and C, C, Z, respectively. As phonemes, t, and, d, occur only in loanwords e.g. chow and dj, with a tendency for speakers to substitute into fricatives in Portugal. However, t, and, d, are allophones of, t, and, d, before front high vowels in most Brazilian dialects. In northern and central Portugal, the voiced stops, b, d, are usually lenited to fricatives, beta, and, respectively, except at the beginning of words, or after nasal vowels, a similar process occurs in Spanish. In large parts of northern Portugal, e.g. Tros os Montes, though notably not Porto, b, and, v, are merged, both pronounced, b, tilde, beta, as in Spanish. Topic. Further notes Although nasal consonants do not normally occur at the end of syllables, syllable final n may be present in rare learned words, such as abdomen, bdmn, abdomen. In Brazilian varieties, these words have a nasal diphthong abdome, spelled as abdomen. Word initial occurs in very few loanwords. While the sibilant consonants sz contrast word initially and intervocalically, they appear in complementary distribution in the syllable coda. For many dialects i.e., those of Portugal and of Rio de Janeiro and certain adjoining areas in Brazil, the sibilant is a postalveolar in coda position e.g., pasto patu, pasture, ismo imu, ism, pas pa, j, peace. In many other dialects of Brazil e.g., some of the southeast, northeast, and north, the postalveolar variant occurs in some or all cases when directly preceding a consonant, including across word boundaries, but not word finally e.g., pat tilde past, emu tilde ismu, pa j s. In a number of Brazilian dialects, this palatalization is absent entirely e.g., past, ismu, pa j s. Voicing contrast is also neutralized, with or z occurring before voiced consonants and or s appearing before voiceless consonants and before a pause e.g. pasta pat or past paste islau or isla ilw or is l islam in european dialects the postalveolar fricatives are only weakly fricated in the syllable coda the consonant l is velarized in european dialects in most Brazilian dialects, L is vocalized to U or at the end of syllables, but in the dialects of the extreme south, mainly along the frontiers with other countries, especially Uruguay, it has the full pronunciation or the velarized pronunciation. In some Kuiper registers, there is a rhoticism of coda L to retroflex. In casual BP, unstressed IL can be realized as ju, as in fossil fastju easy. For speakers who realize r as an alveolar trill r, the sequence per steradian, as in e.g., os rins can coalesce into a voiced alveolar trill fricative r. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Consonant elision. There is a variation in the pronunciation of the first consonant of certain clusters, most commonly c or p in cc, cort, pc, and pt. These consonants may be variably elided or conserved. For some words, this variation may exist inside a country, sometimes in all of them, for others, the variation is dialectal, with the consonant being always pronounced in one country and always elided in the other. This variation affects 0.5% of the language's vocabulary, or 575 words out of 110,000. In most cases, Brazilians variably conserve the consonant while speakers elsewhere have invariably ceased to pronounce it for example, detector in Brazil versus detector in Portugal. The inverse situation is rarer, occurring in words such as fa c to and conta c to consonants never pronounced in Brazil, pronounced elsewhere. 
Until 2009, this reality could not be apprehended from the spelling. While Brazilians did not write consonants that were no longer pronounced, the spelling of the other countries retained them in many words as silent letters, usually when there was still a vestige of their presence in the pronunciation of the preceding vowel. This could give the false impression that European Portuguese was phonologically more conservative in this aspect, when in fact it was Brazilian Portuguese that retained more consonants in pronunciation. Topic: <laughs> Allophones of laminal denti alveolar stops. Unlike its neighbor and relative Spanish, Brazilian Portuguese lacks a tendency to elide any stop, including those that may become a continuant, always fricative in Portuguese by lenition, b greater than beta, d greater than, greater than, but it has a number of allophones to it. In most Brazilian dialects, including the overwhelming majority of the registers of Rio de Janeiro from where this process is said to have expanded to elsewhere in Brazil, other Fluminense-speaking areas, and São Paulo, as well some rural areas of Portugal, the dental stops are affricated to t and d before i, i. Post-alveolar affricates also appear in loanwords from languages such as English, Spanish, and Japanese although it is common in Portugal to merge them with the post-alveolar sibilants, as was done with the former native affricate sounds in the Middle Ages. Topic rhotics The two rhotic phonemes, and, contrast only between oral vowels. Elsewhere, their occurrence is predictable by context, with dialectal variations in realization. The rhotic is hard, i.e., in the following circumstances, word initial e.g., rosa rose, syllable initial preceded by l, or s, e.g., gelra gil, Israel, following a nasal vowel e.g., honrar to honor, in most Brazilian and some African dialects, syllable finally i.e., preceded but not followed by a vowel, it is soft i.e., when it occurs in syllable onset clusters e.g., attributo, the realization of the hard rhotic varies significantly across dialects. This restricted variation has prompted several authors to postulate a single rhotic phoneme. Camara and Mateus and Dondrade see the soft as the unmarked realization and that instances of intervocalic result from gemination and a subsequent deletion rule i.e., caro, cow, greater than, cow, greater than, cow. Similarly, Bonet and Mascaro argue that the heart is the unmarked realization. Topic. Brazilian rhotics In addition to the phonemic variation between and between vowels, up to four allophones of the merged phoneme r are found in other positions. A soft allophone in syllable onset clusters, as described above. A default hard allophone in most other circumstances. In some dialects, a special allophone syllable finally i.e., preceded but not followed by a vowel. Commonly in all dialects, deletion of the rhotic word finally, the default hard allophone is some sort of voiceless fricative in most dialects, e.g., chi, h, x, etc., although other variants are also found, e.g., a trill r in certain conservative dialects down Sao Paulo, of Italian-speaking, Spanish-speaking, Arabic-speaking or Slavic-speaking influence, and the other trill, in areas of German-speaking, French-speaking and Portuguese-descended influence throughout coastal Brazil down Espírito Santo, most prominently Rio de Janeiro. The syllable final allophone shows the greatest variation. Many dialects mainly in Brasilia, Minas Gerais and Brazilian North and Northeast use the same voiceless fricative as in the default allophone. This may become voiced before a voiced consonant, especially in its weaker variants e.g., dormir do, me, h to sleep. The soft occurs for many speakers in southern Brazil and Sao Paulo City. An English-like approximant, tilde, or vowel, our colored vowel occurs elsewhere in Sao Paulo as well as Mato Grosso do Sul, southern Goiás, central and southern Mato Grosso and bordering regions of Minas Gerais. This pronunciation is stereotypically associated with the rural Caipira dialect. Throughout Brazil, deletion of the word final rhotic is common, regardless of the normal Pronunciation of the syllable final allophone. This pronunciation is particularly common in lower registers, although found in most registers in some areas, e.g., northeast Brazil, and in the more formal and standard sociolect. 
It occurs especially in verbs, which always end in r in their infinitive form. In words other than verbs, the deletion is rarer and seems not to occur in monosyllabic non verb words, such as mar. Evidence of this allophone is often encountered in writing that attempts to approximate the speech of communities with this pronunciation, e.g., the rhymes in the popular poetry Cordell literature of the Northeast and phonetic spellings e.g., Ama, Sofra in place of Amar, Sofrere in Jorge Amado's novels set in the Northeast and John Francesco Guaneri's play L's now USAM Black Tie about favela dwellers in Rio de Janeiro. The soft realization is often maintained across word boundaries in close syntactic contexts e.g., mar azul ma -u blue c. Topic Vowels Portuguese has one of the richest vowel phonologies of all Romance languages, having both oral and nasal vowels, diphthongs, and triphthongs. A phonemic distinction is made between close mid-vowels, e-o, and the open mid-vowels, unlike in Spanish, though there is a certain amount of vowel alternation. European Portuguese has also two central vowels, one of which tends to be elided like the e caduc of French. Like standard Catalan, Portuguese uses vowel height to contrast stressed syllables with unstressed syllables. The vowels a, e, o tend to be raised to e, i, o, u, although occurs only in e, p when they are unstressed. See below for details. The dialects of Portugal are characterized by reducing vowels to a greater extent than others. Falling diphthongs are composed of a vowel followed by one of the high vowels i or u. Although rising diphthongs occur in the language as well, they can be interpreted as hiatuses. The exact realization of the varies somewhat amongst dialects. In Brazil, a and are in complementary distribution. Tilde occurs in word final unstressed syllables, while tilde occurs in stressed syllables before an intervocalic per meter, n, or In these phonetic conditions, tilde can be nasalized. Unstressed a tilde occurs in all other environments. In European Portuguese, the general situation is similar with being more prevalent in nearly all unstressed syllables, except that in some regions the two vowels form minimal pairs in some European dialects. In Central European Portuguese this contrast occurs in a limited morphological context, namely in verbs conjugation between the first person plural present and past perfect indicative forms of verbs such as pensamos we think and pensamos we thought, spelled pensamos in Brazil. Spar 2013 proposes that it is a kind of crasis rather than phonemic distinction of a, uh, and it means that in philomos we speak there is the expected prenasal, a, uh, raising, f elmu, while in philomos we spoke there are phonologically two, a, uh, in crasis, f a lamos, greater than f lamu, but in Brazil both merge, philomos f a elmus. English loanwords containing stressed or r are usually associated with prenasal a as in rush, or are influenced by orthography as in club, club, or both, as in surf, surf, close mid vowels and open mid vowels, e tilde, and o tilde, contrast only when they are stressed. In unstressed syllables, they occur in complementary distribution. In Brazilian Portuguese, they are raised to a high or near high vowel, i tilde, and u tilde, respectively, after a stressed syllable, or in some accents and in general casual speech, also before it. European Portuguese possesses a near-close near-back unrounded vowel. It occurs in unstressed syllables such as in pegar to grip. There is no standard symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet for this sound. The IPA handbook transcribes it as but in Portuguese studies or is traditionally used. There are very few minimal pairs for this sound. Some examples include preger to nail versus preger to preach. The latter stemming from earlier preger European Portuguese possesses quite a wide range of vowel allophones. All vowels are lowered and retracted before l. All vowels are raised and advanced before alveolar, palato alveolar and palatal consonants. Word finally, as well as unstressed u and are voiceless u. Topic. Oral diphthongs Diphthongs are not considered independent phonemes in Portuguese, but knowing them can help with spelling and pronunciation. There are also some words with two vowels occurring next to each other like in IATE and SABIO may be pronounced both as rising diphthongs or hiatus, J and W are non-syllabic counterparts of the vowels, I, and U, respectively. At least in European Portuguese, the diphthongs j, a j, 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 o j, u j, i w, e u, w, a tend to have more central second elements i, u, 
note that the latter semivowel is also more weakly rounded than the vowel, u. In the Lisbon accent, the diphthong j often has an onset that is more back than central, i.e. j or even j. Oral triphthongs Nasal vowels Portuguese also has a series of nasalized vowels. Cruz Ferreira analyzes European Portuguese with five monophthongs and four diphthongs, all phonemic, i.e. ouj oj uj with. Nasal diphthongs occur mostly at the end of words or followed by a final sibilant, and in a few compounds. Brazilian Portuguese is overall more nasal than European Portuguese due to many external influences including the common language spoken at Brazil's coast at time of discovery, 2p. As in French, the nasal consonants represented by the letters M N are deleted in coda position, and in that case the preceding vowel becomes phonemically nasal, e.g. in genero, u, son-in-law. But a nasal consonant subsists when it is followed by a plosive, e.g. in cantar k -n -ta -tilde -k -n -ta to sing. Vowel nasalization has also been observed non-phonemically as result of coarticulation, before heterosyllabic nasal consonants, e.g. in soma so, m, sum. Hence, one speaks discriminatingly of nasal vowels i.e. phonemically so and nasalized vowels. Additionally, a nasal monophthong, written a tilde exists independently of these processes, e.g. in Roma, om, pomegranate. The e, and, o, distinction does not happen in nasal vowels, m om are pronounced as close mid. In bp, the vowel, a, which the letter a otherwise represents is sometimes, phonemically raised to, when it is nasal, and also in stressed syllables before heterosyllabic nasal consonants even if the speaker does not nasalize vowels in this position, compare for instance dama sa d, ma s healthy lady and da maka da ma s it gives apples, a, may also be raised slightly in word final unstressed syllables. Nasalization and height increase noticeably with time during the production of a single nasal vowel in BP in those cases that are written with nasal consonants M N, so that U may be realized as edge U or U. This creates a significant difference between the realizations of M and A tilde for some speakers. Compare, for instance, Ranco real, su e a royal rancidness, and ra surreal, su e a surreal frog. Here means a velar nasal approximant. At the end of a word, M is always pronounced edge with a clear nasal palatal approximant. See below. Whenever a nasal vowel is pronounced with a nasal coda approximant or occlusive the phonetic nasalization of the vowel itself is optional. The following examples exhaustively demonstrate the general situation for BP. Roma pomegranate, om, final vowel is phonemically nasal, and nasal approximants may not be pronounced. Genero son-in-law, u or edge, u or u, nasal consonant deleted, preceding vowel is phonemically nasal. And nasal approximants may be pronounced. Gem, a hundred, sedge, nasal approximant must be pronounced. Cantar to sing, k and ta, or possibly k and ta, nasal consonant remains because of the following plosive. Preceding vowel is raised and nasalized non-phonemically. This is traditionally considered a nasal vowel by textbooks. Cano, pipe, k, nu, or k, nu, first vowel is necessarily raised, and may be nasalized non phonemically. Tomo, I take, to tilde dot mu, or to dot mu, first vowel may be nasalized non phonemically. It follows from these observations that the vowels of BP can be described simply in the following way BP has eight monophthongs a, e, i, o, u whose phonetic realizations may be affected by a nasal archiphoneme, n. The vowel is typically nasalized in every position, but this is not phonemic. All eight vowels are differentiated in stressed and unstressed positions. But in word final unstressed position and not followed by n, they reduce to three vowels a i u in most dialects. In this position, a has a free variation, and this fatally impairs a distinction. For instance, the word ima magnet is effectively pronounced as either ima or imam, depending on speaker. Like the N of Japanese, the archiphoneme, N, is a nasal archiphoneme of syllabic codas and its actual place of articulation is determined by the following sound Vn, P, B, equals Vm, P, B Vn, T, D, equals Vn, T, D 
Vn k per gram equals V k per gram. Otherwise, it becomes a nasal approximant, as in Japanese kani gnyi, kani, etc. After the vowels e i, this approximant may also be pronounced as j, and after o u as w. Free variations. The system of eight monophthongs reduces to five e i o u before n, and also in stressed syllables before heterosyllabic nasal consonants. The graphema stands for in these cases. N is not allowed at word final position because M stands for EJ. In this case, here, J means the same phoneme that NH represents, and E may be nasalized non phonemically. This is the only case of J in coda position. With this description, the examples from before are simply O M N U S E J, Kanta, slash K. Nu, Tomu. But there is no commonly accepted transcription for Brazilian Portuguese phonology. The reader is advised to look in the sources of examples if they wish to know precisely what is meant by phoneme symbols. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Nasal diphthongs. Most times nasal diphthongs occur at the end of the word. They are ao or am w. Examples: pau, bread, sow, dog, estau, they are, bau, they go, lamau, lemon, orgaio, organ, estavau, Stephen. When in the am form, unstressed, they are always the third person of the plural of a verb, like estavam, they were, contam, they account, escreviram, they wrote, pertiram, they left. A j, it occurs in maze, mother s, and in the plural of some words ending in ao, e.g., sees, dogs, pies, breads, and exceptionally non-finally in kybra, cramp. In Central European Portuguese, it occurs also in all words ending in m, like tem, he, she, it has, bem, well, good, as a noun, mentum, they lie, etc. m, edge, it occurs, both stressed and unstressed, in Brazilian Portuguese and in non-standard European Portuguese northernmost and southern dialects in word final syllables ending in m and m like bem, sem, alem, as well as in verbs ending in m third person plural present indicative or verbs in er and ir. In Greater Lisbon, edge has merged with j, and it occurs duplicated in tem, t, j, j, third person plural present indicative of ter, originally team, which in Brazilian is homophonous with tem, the third person singular. O, oj, it occurs in the present indicative of por and its derivatives, in the second person singular pose, poj, s, opos, compose, presuppose, in the third person singular po, poj, Opoi etc., and non finally in the third person plural poem, podge, edge, opoem etc. In the plural of many words ending in ao, e.g., limos, lemons, anos, dwarfs, espios, spies, ios, ions, cachios, cations, anios, and ions, elitros, electrons, neutros, neutrons, protos, protons, photos, photons, positros, positrons, and the plurals of all words with the suffix sao. Compare English tion, like in communication, like communicacos, communications, provocacos, provocations. Uim or uin y examples, pinguim, penguin, ruim, bad, ruindade, badness. Often realized uj, ui, uj occurs only in the words muito, moitu, and the uncommon mui, muj. The nasalization here may be interpreted as allophonic, bleeding over from the previous m, compare may with the same bleeding of nasality, j, and w, are nasalized, non-syllabic counterparts of the vowels, i, and u, respectively. At least in European Portuguese, the diphthongs j, oj, uj, w tend to have more central second elements. Note that the latter semivowel is also more weakly rounded than the vowel u. Topic: <laughs> Vowel alternation. The stressed relatively open vowels a contrast with the stressed relatively close vowels E, O, in several kinds of grammatically meaningful alternation between the base form of a noun or adjective and its inflected forms, OVO, O, egg, OVOs, eggs, NOVO, O, NOVA, NOVOS, NOVAS, NU, masculine singular, feminine singular, masculine plural, feminine plural, between some nouns or adjectives and related verb forms, adj, seiko, E, dry, V, seiko, I dry, N, gosto, O, taste, V, gosto, I like, n, governo, e, government, v, governo, I govern. Between different forms of some verbs, pod, o, he could, pod, he can. Between some pairs of related words, avo, o, grandfather, avo, 
grandmother. In regular verbs, the stressed vowel is normally low, a, but high, e, o, before the nasal consonants per meter, n. The high vowels are also nasalized, in bp. Some stem changing verbs alternate stressed high vowels with stressed low vowels in the present tense, according to a regular pattern, cedo, seeds, seed, sedum, e, movo, moves, move, movum, o, present indicative, seda, sedas, seda, sedum, e, mova, movas, mova, movum, o, present subjunctive. There is another class of stem changing verbs which alternate, i, u, with, according to the same scheme, in Central Portugal, the first, person plural of verbs of the first, conjugation with infinitives in R has the stressed vowel in the present indicative, but a in the preterite, cf, pensamos we think with pensamos we thought. In BP, the stressed vowel is in both, so they are written without accent mark. There are also pairs of unrelated words that differ in the height of these vowels, such as besta, e, beast, and besta, crossbow, mexo, e, I move, and mecho, I highlight, hair, molo, o, sauce, and molo. Bunch, corte, cut, and corte, o, court, meta, e, i put subjunctive and meta, goal, and especially in Portugal, para, for, and para, a, he stops, forma, o, mold, and forma, shape. There are several minimal pairs in which a clitic containing the vowel contrasts with a monosyllabic stressed word containing a, da versus da, mas versus mas, a versus a, a, etc. In BP, however, these words may be pronounced with a in some environments. Topic. Unstressed vowels Some isolated vowels meaning those that are neither nasal nor part of a diphthong tend to change quality in a fairly predictable way when they become unstressed. In the examples below, the stressed syllable of each word is in boldface. The term, final, should be interpreted here as at the end of a word or before word final s. Asterisk ne, the bold syllable is the stressed, but the pronunciation indicated on the left is for the unstressed syllable, not bold. With a few exceptions mentioned in the previous sections, the vowels, a, uh, and, occur in complementary distribution when stressed, the latter before nasal consonants followed by a vowel, and the former elsewhere. In Brazilian Portuguese, the general pattern in the southern and western accents is that the stressed vowels, a, e, o, neutralized to a, e, o, respectively, in unstressed syllables, as is common in Romance languages. In final unstressed syllables, however, they are raised to i, u, in casual bp as well in the Fluminense dialect, e, o, may be raised to tilde i, tilde u, on any unstressed syllable, as long as it has no coda. European Portuguese has taken this process one step further, raising a, e, o, U, in all unstressed syllables. The vowels, and, are also more centralized than their Brazilian counterparts. The three unstressed vowels, U, are reduced and often voiceless or elided in fast speech. If, is elided, which mostly it is in the beginning of a word and word finally, the previous consonant becomes aspirated like in ponte, bridge, pot, or if it is, U, is labializes the previous consonant like in grosso, thick, os. There are some exceptions to the rules above. For example, I, occurs instead of unstressed, e, or, word initially or before another vowel in hiatus teatro, reun, pio, is often deleted entirely word initially in the combination, ski, becoming, c tilde c. Also, a, or, appear in some unstressed syllables in ep, being marked in the lexicon, like a spectaculo, spectacle, p teculo. these occur from deletion of the final consonant in a closed syllable and from crasis. And there is some dialectal variation in the unstressed sounds. The northern and eastern accents of BP have low vowels in unstressed syllables instead of the high vowels, e, o. However, the Brazilian media tends to prefer the southern pronunciation. In any event, the general paradigm is a useful guide for pronunciation and spelling. Nasal vowels, vowels that belong to falling diphthongs, and the high vowels, i, and, u, are not affected by this process, nor is the vowel, o, when written as the digraph o, pronounced, ow, in conservative ep. Nevertheless, casual bp may raise unstressed nasal vowels, e, o, to, tilde i, tilde u, to. Apenthesis 
In BP, an epenthetic vowel I is sometimes inserted between consonants, to break up consonant clusters that are not native to Portuguese, in learned words and in borrowings. This also happens at the ends of words after consonants that cannot occur word finally e.g., d, k, f, for example, psicologia psychology may be pronounced pisicolo i, adverso adverse may be pronounced adiv kai su, McDonald's may be pronounced m ki don wadis. In northern Portugal, an epenthetic may be used instead, seculu i, et beta su, but in southern Portugal there is often no epenthesis, seculu i, dv su. Apenthesis at the end of a word does not normally occur in Portugal. The native Portuguese consonant clusters, where there is not apenthesis, are sequences of a non sibilant oral consonant followed by the liquids or l, and the complex consonants per kilosecond, kw, with. Some examples flagranti, Florida t, complexo, ko tilde pl. su, fixo, phi, KSU but not fisau fic SW latex lotcase quattro quatu guashinum y ni topic further notes on the oral vowels some words with in ep have eo in bp this happens when those vowels are stressed before the nasal consonants per meter n followed by another vowel in which case both types of vowel may occur in European Portuguese but Brazilian Portuguese only allows high vowels This can affect spelling cf ep tonico bp tonico tonic In most bp stressed vowels have nasal allophones e i o u etc see below before one of the nasal consonants per meter n followed by another vowel in São Paulo, southern Brazil, and EP, nasalization is nearly absent in this environment, other than in compounds such as conosco, comamente spelled conosco, comumente in BP. Most BP speakers also diphthongize stressed vowels to i, i, a, oi, i, ui, etc. except i, before a sibilant at the end of a stressed syllable written s, x, or z. For instance, Jesus e zui, s, Jesus, faz f -a -i, s, he does, des d, s, ten. One often common exception to this realization is in the accent of gauchos. This has led to the use of meia from meia duzia half a dozen instead of cease say, s, six when making enumerations, to avoid any confusion with trace t, s, three on the telephone. In Greater Lisbon, e is pronounced j when it comes before a palatal consonant j, or a palato alveolar, followed by another vowel, as well as edge is pronounced j. Topic <laughs> Sandy. When two words belonging to the same phrase are pronounced together, or two morphemes are joined in a word, the last sound in the first may be affected by the first sound of the next sandy, either coalescing with it, or becoming shorter a semivowel, or being deleted. This affects especially the sibilant consonants, s, z, and the unstressed final vowels, i, u. Topic. Consonant sandy. As was mentioned above, the dialects of Portuguese can be divided into two groups, according to whether syllable final sibilants are pronounced as postalveolar consonants or as alveolar, s, z. At the end of words, the default pronunciation for a sibilant is voiceless, s, but in connected speech the sibilant is treated as though it were within a word. Assimilation. If the next word begins with a voiceless consonant, the final sibilant remains voiceless, s. Bons tempos bo tilde tepu or bos tepus good times. If the next word begins with a voiced consonant, the final sibilant becomes voiced as well. Z bons dias bo tilde d or bos dis good days. If the next word begins with a vowel, the final sibilant is treated as intervocalic and pronounced z bons amigos bos mu or bos amias good friends. When two identical sibilants appear in sequence within a word, they reduce to a single consonant. For example, Nasser, Desco, Excesso, Exodar are pronounced with s by speakers who use alveolar sibilants at the end of syllables, and Disjuntor is pronounced with by speakers who use postalveolars. But if the two sibilants are different they may be pronounced separately, depending on the dialect. 
Thus, the former speakers will pronounce the last example with Z, whereas the latter speakers will pronounce the first examples with S if they are from Brazil or S if from Portugal although in relaxed pronunciation the first sibilant in each pair may be dropped. This applies also to words that are pronounced together in connected speech. Sibilant plus S, e.g., as sopas, either S or S or Sibilant plus Z, e.g., as zonas, either Z or Z or Sibilant plus, e.g., as chaves, either, or, s. Sibilant plus, e.g., os genes, either, or, z. Topic: <laughs> Vowel sandy. Normally, only the three vowels, i, in bp, or, in ep, and, u, occur in unstressed final position. If the next word begins with a similar vowel, they merge with it in connected speech, producing a single vowel, possibly long crasis. Here, similar means that nasalization can be disregarded, and that the two central vowels, a, can be identified with each other. Thus, a, plus, a, a, tota a noi, tota noi, t, or tota noi, t, all night, nessa altora, nso, two, or nsa two, at that point. A, Plus, a note that this low nasal vowel appears only in this situation, a antiga the ancient one and a antiga in the ancient way, both pronounced o t or o t. I plus i i i i d dad d daddy or d dad aged. Plus, fila de espera fill dp waiting line ep only. U plus u u u u todo o dia todo d or todo d all day. If the next word begins with a dissimilar vowel, then i and u become approximants in Brazilian Portuguese sinericis. I plus v j v durante o curso do t j u cursu during the course mais k um my s k j more than one. U plus V W V Todo este tempo T O D W S T tepu all this time do objeto D W O B two of the object in careful speech and in with certain function words or in some phrase stress conditions. See Mateus and Dondrade for details. European Portuguese has a similar process. Plus V J V say a virus S J V if you see her mais K um my K J more than one. U plus V W V Todo este tempo T O D W et tepu all this time do objecto D W B two of the object, but in other prosodic conditions and in relaxed pronunciation, E P simply drops final unstressed and U elision. Plus V V durante o curso do T U cursu during the course este inquilino et inquilino this tenant. U plus V V todo este tempo tod et tepu all this time disto hum wido did a mui too there's a lot of this unlike French for example Portuguese does not indicate most of these sound changes explicitly in its orthography. Topic <laughs> <laughs> stress. Primary stress may fall on any of the three final syllables of a word, but mostly on the last two. There is a partial correlation between the position of the stress and the final vowel, for example, the final syllable is usually stressed when it contains a nasal phoneme, a diphthong, or a close vowel. The orthography of Portuguese takes advantage of this correlation to minimize the number of diacritics. Because of the phonetic changes that often affect unstressed vowels, pure lexical stress is less common in Portuguese than in related languages, but there is still a significant number of examples of it. Duvida, duvid, doubt versus duvida, duvid, s, he doubts. Ruiram, ui, they collapsed versus ruirau, ui, they will collapse. Falaram, fa la, they spoke versus falarau, fala, they will speak Brazilian pronunciation. Ove, ovi, he hears versus o u v i o v. I heard Brazilian pronunciation. Tunnel, tunnel, tunnel versus tonel, two enel, wine cask. European pronunciation. Topic: <laughs> Prosody. Tone is not lexically significant in Portuguese, but phrase and sentence level tones are important. As in most Romance languages, interrogation on yes-no questions is expressed mainly by sharply raising the tone at the end of the sentence. 
Exception is the word oi that is subject to meaning changes, in exclamation tone oi means hi, hello, in interrogative tone oi means I didn't understand. See also Differences between Spanish and Portuguese History of Portuguese Portuguese orthography, for further information on spelling Portuguese dialects Portuguese alphabet <laughs>